In an earlier video, I shared with you how I took a 24 by 48 inch piece of plywood and attached my miter saw to it using some simple wig nuts, passing it up through the bench. And then also, as you see this little guy right here, I took four of those and pass them down to the dog holes and use wing nuts and a larger washer on the other side to make this more stable and to give me more workspace. However, since I've done this, I purchased two new tools. One is a drill press that you see here. And the other one I purchased a used table saw such as you see here. And I wanted to do the same thing with them that I've done with my miter saw. So I'm going to share with you today how I've done that. So let's take a look at how I laid this out on the plywood. Let's start from the center and work our way out. The drill press really only has two convenient holes to hold it down to the bench. So you see here I've drilled those out and marked it drill. And then I've outlined it because it's sunk in so far it's tall enough it's hard to see the holes, so as long as I line it up to that outline, it's a lot easier to line up to the holes after I've done that. You'll notice too I have a longer bolt here with washers and a, and a wing nut on both ends. That's because this stands up a little bit. And I wanted to make sure that I had enough length. It probably comes up a little bit too high, but so far it hasn't gotten in the way. The same bolt that you see here I'm also going to use on the table saw, and we'll talk about that in a minute. Then you see right here the bolts and the wing nuts and washers that I've used for the miter saw. I have four of those right there. And then you can see I've taken the outline of the table saw, marked that as S, and I have much longer bolts there, and I share those bolts with the drill press. So you can see I've got all four right there. Now when I originally made this for my miter saw, I had two holes in the back and then two holes in the front, but what I found was this is the front of the saw. The saw was covering these two. So if I had to do it over again, I'd spread these out a little bit wider and go through other dog holes. But you see here in the back, they're close together. And then in the front, you see the B is for bench. And I've got two of those on either side of where the saw would stay. So I can use either the ones in the center or the ones at the outside. These are A, C, B as in boy. They're three quarter, these guys are three quarters inch. That means it'll stop this from coming through on the bottom. And you notice I've oriented the wing nuts for the bench to be on the bottom. And then for all the other devices, I put them on top. So I can do this all by hand. Okay? So let me back up and show this to you again. And you can see the entire outline. I would say it's about as close to center visually as I could get it. I really didn't sit down and measure it. But this is what the layout looks like so far. Let's take a look at how the drill press mounts onto the bench. As you can see in the front, I've got two bolts there passing down to the dog holes. And then I've got two in the back to make it very stable. And by the way, all these are countersunk on the other side, so they don't scratch the bench, especially these that pass up through into each of the tools. So you can see how that passes up through the two holes there. Uh, your drill press is probably going to vary from this. And those are probably a little bit longer, but so far they haven't gotten in the way. I could obviously go with something shorter, but I'm also reusing these on the table saw. So that's what it looks like for the drill press. Let's take a look at how the table saw is tied into the bench at this point. You notice here I'm using wing nuts on the front and you'll see the little crack, the broken off piece. I bought this used at a garage sale. And I've got 
one of these bolts passing down through the bench on this side and another one on the left hand side. And then back here I've done basically the same thing as I've done on the front. You see the two bolts passing down into the bench. And then because of this profile I wasn't able to use a wing nut but I was able to use a standard nut with a washer and it works just fine. This is very very stable and very comfortable that it's not going to move. Between the weight of the bench, the weight of the saw and the plywood uh, it's very very sturdy. So this is how you tie down your table saw, your miter saw and your drill press. If you like this video please press like. If you haven't already done so please subscribe. And of course, as always, good luck with your projects.